Hello everyone, my name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps and I am trying to keep my voice down because my baby is sleeping in his basket and I'd really like for him not to wake up. Today's soap is number two in this month's theme of my 25th birthday. It is very special to me and it is a black and white soap. It's a heavy contrast. I'll talk a little more about the theme and stuff later on, but here is the quote. I'll list it right here for you guys to read from Anna Karenina that inspired this soap. Naturally, there were tons and tons and tons of quotes that I could have pulled from, but I really, really, really like her dress. If you watch the movie, um, I think they did a lovely job depicting the dress that is described here um, by Tolstoy in the scene where she meets Kitty for the first time at the ball. I had to put my own spin on it because I don't just have pansies lying around. If you aren't following us on Instagram, we have one for royalty soaps, one for me and one for Kenny. They'll pop up over on this side of the screen. And this soap will be available to purchase on July 1st at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. This is the last time that we're going to be doing a Monday release this late to try to accommodate more people both overseas and that are working or just unavailable on a Monday night. So without further ado, let's make some soaps. Now if you guys remember the pinata party soap, if you haven't watched that soap making, I will link it now. You will know that I didn't use a stick blender to blend up my lye water and oils. I simply used a whisk. I'm going to do a hybrid of that technique and the one that I usually use today. So I am going to use the stick blender for like four or five seconds, then I'm going to whisk it a little bit, then I'm going to use the stick blender a little bit. We're going to see if I like that. So I've stick blended a second and I'm going to mix it in with my whisk. Then I may stick blend a little bit more. All right, so I think it's already at the place where I want it. It's been like probably less than 20 seconds. So I am gonna split my batch off into two containers equally. So I'm gonna scrapey scrapey out my big containy. And then I'm gonna set this one off to the side. This is gonna be the top of the soap and this is gonna be the bottom. And using my wee tiny little kitchen scale, I'm gonna pour off some of the batter. This is gonna be for the black swirl on the inside. Right at about 24 ounces of soap batter in here. What? I am just now realizing that my tripod isn't extended as far as I wanted it to be. Hello there. <laughs> Let me just adjust this real quick. <laughs> Much better. So into this big one, I'm gonna pour a lot of titanium dioxide. And then in this container, we have black oxide mixed with water. It typically gets thicker than the titanium dioxide does. This is like white water. So I'm gonna use half a teaspoon of this black mixture. Plop that right in there. And then I'm gonna begin to mix the white in first by hand. I will stick blend a little bit later and that will help thicken everything up, but because I have two layers that I need to sit on top of each other, I don't want anything to move very fast. I have been so excited. I have been looking forward to making this soap for weeks. Okay, mix up this black real quick. I specifically have been waiting to use this fragrance oil for something truly grand. It is so beautiful. I'll leave the fragrance notes down below because though it is a floral, it's it's very complex. There's a lot of different notes in there. It's very feminine. It smells like a perfume. It's, it's honestly stunning. Okay, hooray. Now I can blend it in using the stick blender. You guys could see the rapid color change whenever you add stick blending, which is why I tell folks who want to use titanium dioxide, you have to stick blend. Otherwise your colors are never gonna reach their full potential. So now we're gonna do an in the pot swirl with this. I'm gonna pour from up a little bit higher. I can see that that reached the bottom. I am gonna scrapey scrapey on my little containy, even though we are gonna be doing black on the top of the soap. All right, and now I'm gonna pour this into my mold after this quick commercial break. All righty, let's pour. It's at the perfect consistency. Not too runny, 
not too thick. So it's gonna leave beautiful marbling on the inside. Now that I've poured some though, I do think I'm gonna use my spatula to help me ladle the rest on. I just find that that works better if you want your colors to stay a little more true. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna tap this down on the ground, make it nice and smooth. Now we are going to do a mica line to separate this bottom layer and the top. And this is the color that I'm using from TKB. I've put it in a little baby strainer, and then I'm just gonna tap it all along the mold. We are gonna get as prominent a mica line as we possibly can. So why has Anna Karenina made it into the month of July? Well, it is after much thought and deliberation, and this took so long <laughs> for me to figure out, but I do believe it is my favorite book of all time. It beat out Anne of Green Gables ever so slightly. I have read it multiple times. I've listened to it um, on a book on tape multiple times. Whenever I used to work away from my parents, but I still had to walk home every day, I used to listen to it when I was walking home and when I was working, like I was obsessed with it. I think it just kind of met me in a hard place, honestly. I very much related to more than one character, so it felt like I could learn a little something from everybody. I didn't even know that there was a movie whenever I read the book, and I was like, this why is nobody talking about this? And it's because everyone was talking about the Hunger Games. <laughs> With the entire surface now covered, I am simply cleaning up the mold a little bit. I'm wiping all the extra mica off of the sides because we want those to be a very dark black. We don't want them to be like tinged with red. It's okay if there's still like a little bit on the edges because that can be cleaned up, but if we can avoid it, we're going to try to. Red mica lines are some of the messiest things to do, but I personally think they have one of the most stunning effects. Okay, so now that this first layer is done, let's mix up the second one. The second one is gonna be pretty easy because it's just black. So I'm putting all the rest of my black oxide that I mixed up in here. Gonna use my scrapey, scrapey spatula to make an absolute mess. Ooh, so beautiful. Now I'm gonna blend it and see if it's gonna be dark enough for my liking. Marvelous! Looks nice and black, so I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. You know, this fragrance oil almost makes it smell like a tea or something. And with that all mixed in, it's time to pour into our mold. The bucket was too heavy for me to just pour, so I had to put it in this white bucket. <laughs> oh, so satisfying to see that just cover up all the red. I'm gonna pour some more black in there. I am trying to sort of hurry, that way I can have a relatively flat top, which I can still do if I tap this down quickly. Scrapey, scrapey, scrapey. Okay, so we have our black base done, so let's put all the pretty things on top. The first thing we're gonna put on are these black lace pieces. If you remember at the very beginning, I told you guys my inspiration passage for this soap. And in that passage, it says that Anna is wearing black lace. It also says that she's wearing a posy of violets, but I'm gonna be using roses today because I want to. <laughs> you will change your garb for me, Anna. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter that this doesn't go to the very, very ends of the soap because I will actually be cutting those very ends off of the soap. Oh wow, yes. I know it's really hard for the camera to pick up detail like that so far away, but let me assure you, it's super nice. So next we're gonna put on some strands of pearls. These are all in one long form because they were made using a silicone mat that people use for baking. This elegant embed work was done by my sister Shelly. She has become my absolute favorite person to do embeds. She does them exactly how I want them done and often with some beautiful touches that she adds herself. 
I can tell you this is actually extremely difficult to do. One of the hardest embed placements I've probably ever had to do. They're very, very delicate. She also made me a few little single beads, so if the rows are a bit short, I can just add them in right here on the end. And I know this may look a little funny <laughs> while it's in the mold like this, but we have to envision each individual bar. Ooh, I hope those are all straight enough. <laughs> and then down the middle, I'm just going to add rose petals that have been dried. And sprinkle, sprinkle right down the middle here. I hope you guys are having a really marvelous day today. If you have any fun summery plans, let me know down in the comments below. Maybe I'll do something that you're doing. It's so strange whenever you're a kid and like summertime is everything. Like you wait all year for summer. And then when you become an adult, it's just like the rest of the year except hot. <laughs> now off camera, Kenny's gonna have so much to edit out <laughs> because I am removing all the stems and all the leaves from these roses here. I mean, not all of them, but anything that's big and bulky and definitely gonna take away from the aesthetic of it, I'm taking out. And because we bought these wholesale, there is a lot of stems and leaves. Okay, so with these last few flowers here, Anna Karenina is done. So this is what she looks like all close. Oh my gosh, I love it. That lace mat, that, that just adds a little something special to the top. So we are gonna wait 18 to 24 hours and then we will come up, we'll split these slabs into loaves and cut the loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. are back to cut Anna Karenina. And before we cut this, I just want you guys to take a look at this picture. This is a different batch of the Anna Karenina after I made this one. This is the first batch that God made. And so when I was trying to put things in and it all looked a little wonky, we did eventually figure out how to make that look a lot neater. So I am gonna turn this on its side because I don't want those petals to leave drag marks. And I am gonna have to be careful because these white pearls are prone to popping off so I have to cut very very slowly. I love having just a black and white soap though. Okay so let's take out a bar from the middle and this is what it looks like on the inside. Here's what it looks like up close. You can see that red mica line is coming through really strong. You got the marbling down here, the black up top, and then the lace, the roses, and the pearls on top. Also, you'll wanna see something really satisfying. Ooh, all the bubbles is gone now. <laughs> if you find that the glycerin soap starts to sweat a little bit due to like high humidity in your area, you can always just give it a quick spritz with rubbing alcohol even after you've made the bar. It'll evaporate and kill all those bubbles. Ooh, look at that. Y'all, oh my god. So if you don't want to read the book Anna Karenina, because admittedly it is quite long, you could go to LibriVox.org and listen to it. Um, as an audio recording. You could also watch the movie. There was a movie that came out. Now, of course, it doesn't do the book justice, but if you aren't much of a reader, it'll do. It has Kiara Knightley in it, and she plays Anna, and I think she does a pretty good job. The question of the day is, have you ever read a Tolstoy novel? And yes, it counts if you had to read it for school. I actually didn't have to read any Tolstoy for school. I just read them of my own volition. I've read War and Peace, and I've read Anna Karenina. Is there another one of his works I should read? I've also read some of his short stories. So let me know by clicking the I in the upper right-hand corner of the screen 
screen. There is a poll up there. Apparently for mobile users that doesn't show up very often. So if you really, really, really want to vote, you should probably use like a laptop or a desktop computer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. Once again, this soap will be available to purchase on July 1st at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Though my birthday isn't until July 26th, just so you know. The first week of July, we are actually going to VidCon. If you guys missed the video where Kenny and I announced that, we're going to be going to VidCon together with Caleb and Will. My parents are gonna keep Lily, which she's delighted about because she gets to stay with my siblings, her aunts, which are really close to her age, actually. Also, like I've already said this month, some of the footage this month is gonna be a little bit wonky. We are currently working on getting a new filming studio set up in my house. And Kenny and I just purchased a new camcorder and a new sort of video audio setup. So hopefully you guys will see a massive massive improvement in production quality in the coming weeks. But until then, we're kind of just trying to throw things together and everything looks just a little strange. Thank you so much for bearing with us during this transition period. Make sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is pulling out a dusty old novel that you haven't touched since high school to read your favorite little tidbits or just watching the movie because you don't really like to read. Either way, do something that makes you happy and I'll see you guys on Saturday. So until then, bye for now. Meow.